Now to breaking news in the Moscow murders. Brian Koberger was in Pennsylvania in a courtroom earlier today. He'll soon be in Idaho, charged with the murder of four University of Idaho students. That extradition hearing only lasted about 10 minutes, but police say the path to justice is far from over. The courts now have 10 days to transfer Koberger to Moscow. We're tracking every detail in that journey and what this means for justice. Tonight at 6, Esther Bauer shows us the national effort to find Koberger and bring him into custody. Well, Kirsten, since the murder happened, local, state, and federal agencies have been working around the clock to find the killer. For the first time, we're hearing from Pennsylvania State Police on what it took to make the arrest and what justice will look like in the future. It was a calculated effort to not only find Koberger hundreds of miles away, but also bring him into custody. Pennsylvania State Police saying they were watching him for days before going into his parents' home in the early morning hours of December 30th to make an arrest. It has entered a new phase with the waiver for extradition. Koberger told a judge on Tuesday he's ready to go to Idaho and face his charges. He wasn't alone in court. Here you can see his family rushing into the courthouse Faces covered as they support their son and brother who maintains his innocence. Police say they believe they have the right guy. The white Hyundai Elantra is now impounded while the murder weapon is still somewhere out there. Prosecutors believe Koberger is rushing home to see what exactly police know. I definitely believe that one of the main reasons the defendant chose to waive extradition and hurry his return back to Idaho was the need to know what was in those documents. Those arrest documents are still sealed, but Moscow police saying DNA ties him to this crime, and they're ready to prosecute the suspected killer and bring closure for the families of these murdered students. The continuing primary goal is the seeking of justice through successful prosecution and conviction, bearing the burden of proof, proof beyond a reasonable doubt. And something we all need to remember is while police made an arrest, what they want is a conviction. When it comes to releasing details, they have to balance the public's hunger for information with the integrity of the case they are now building. When Koberger does arrive in Moscow, we now know the Kootenai County Public Defender will be his legal counsel. Kirsten.